Come back to further solutions academy. Further solutions academy. Encourage us more to share our video anywhere you see it and also subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, just press on your subscribe button. Presently, we have over 250 videos on our platform. It means you can come here and learn any topic of your choice, any topic. Even though mathematics is available for you, physics also, um, sorry, physics, chemistry, and um, mathematics are well loaded. Okay, now if you need any help or you want to comment, you can comment below or you contact this our number. We can do three things with this line. The first thing you can call us. The second thing you can WhatsApp us. And the third one you can Telegram. It's also allowed, either of the three. Now, in this topic I'll be working you, these are the outline of this topic. The topic is known as expansion of algebra. Now, if you have been with us, you know I've been talking about algebraic, algebraic, algebra, whatever. Now, this time around, I will be the outline of this video expansion factorization perfect square and different of two square you know just like elementary mathematics before you know all these advanced mathematics you must understand these basics they are very very important to understand in the field of mathematics now let me start from the first one i'm going to tell you the expansion okay and my real student know very well that uh, i do explain something for them that if i have a multiplied by b this can also be written as a b which also the same thing as what a b now these are very very important now in mathematics in advanced mathematics or you know it is good to make use of brackets because if the story change a bracket i mean a multiplied by b c is not as the same thing as a bracket of b minus c now there are many times this is what we're going to mean but many times we'll be working on this now if somebody write this it means a b minus c but if this one is a b minus a c can you see the difference between them now can you see that they are not equal they are not equal now advice i will give to you is please Utilize more of bracket. You make use of a bracket more, which it will be better for you. Now, let me quickly uh, try to explain by giving out some simple, um, you know, common question. Um, you know, look at this one. Find the product of x plus two and s minus five now look at what i've seen i mean i, I said earlier having I mean, this you know i have product of what s plus two multiplied by x minus five now for your information if i multiply this thing and i have it this way x two multiplied by x now I've changed the question to type. I've changed the question for that, which I will never get the same thing, which they are not equal. It means I've killed mathematics as in I've misinterpreted the question, which the person that is marking you will mark you down. Now, when you have something like this, you can present it as well as x and x minus 5. Now, how do I expand? At this point, this is the product, this is the product. Now, how do I expand? It means I will split one over the other. I can do that my x bracket of x minus 5 and plus 2 bracket of x minus 5. And that is the easiest way to go about it. It means I split this over this. Now, this multiplied by this x squared and um, minus 5x and um, plus 2x and um, minus 10. Now, I'll be having x squared. This and this, they are like times. I'll be having minus 3x minus 10. That is quadratic expression. Quadratic 
expression. Now, why is it an expression? There's no equal to sign. There's no equal to time. Now, I do say it to my students that anytime you are asked to solve quadratic problem, if it is expression, you will stop at factor. At this point, these two things are called what? Factor. They are called factors. You know, they are called factors. Okay, let me quickly put more, I mean, I'll bring more example on that part so that you can see how it's always been and try to understand it because most things we do in advanced mathematics, we always play around with this part of mathematics. That is why you see it is very important in elementary mathematics. Expand um, 2C minus 3M bracket and uh, C minus 4M bracket. Now look at this solution, look at this problem. What I will do here is, okay, let me put another one also so that uh, it will be very nice for us to, now another one, expand, I can have it once 3a 2b squared. Now, look at this problem. Okay, with this problem, let's try to do one or two things. Now, the first one I'm half to 2c minus 3m and c minus 4m, which is equals to the same way, anyhow any way you want to do it. You can pick one and split it over one. I can decide to split this over this. It means C bracket of 2C minus 3M and minus 4M bracket of 2C minus 3M. It means I split this over this. This multiply by it will be 2C squared. It means C times C, C squared minus 3CM minus which is minus times plus is minus, which is I have 8MC, and also I'll be having plus, minus times minus is plus, which is 12M squared. Now, this and this are the same. 2C squared minus 11CM plus 12M squared. Can you see? That is my final answer. I can't go forward again. The only thing I can do here is the words to take it back to what the factor. I do that. These are called factors. These are called uh, quadratic expression. Please take note of that. Now look at this also. I have three a minus two bracket squared. This also can be written as three a minus two, three a minus two. It means if I have x squared, it x multiplied by x, which we have done that anyway. It means I'm double, I want to double the stuff. Now, since I have it, it will be 3a bracket of 3a minus 2, minus 2 bracket of 3a minus 2. Now it means this times this 9a squared minus this times this, it will be um 6a minus 6a plus Four. Now it means a squared, nine a squared minus twelve a plus four. That is my final answer. Now this is called perfect square. Anyways, I will explain that in, um, earlier. I mean later. Yeah. Now, okay. Let me now move on to factorization. I'm done with expansion. Let me be on factorization now. Okay, now, when we talk about factorization, now, we are talking about factorization. Now, when you move forward, you can factor back, you know, factorization of, okay, of, of quadratic. Now, why am I talking about quadratic? Because I'm always in power word. Unknown is two degree. Unknown is two degree. Now, for instance, I want to factorize this thing. Let me quickly write out some question. X squared minus six X plus five. I want to factorize this, which is the first one. And the second one, I have it in terms of um, X squared 
my plus 14x plus 13 and um, let me just make it three and the last one would be uh, x squared minus um, 8x plus 7 yes with this you, would, can, you can easily understand now when I have something like this I want to factorize their own question their own problem how do I factorize this with the given problem? Solution to this one. Now, the first thing is x squared minus 6x plus 5. Now, in mathematics, we always, in terms of this, quadratic have general problem, I mean equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. This is general quadratic equation. And you must learn to compare them. From here now, it means my a equals to 1, my B equals to 6, minus 6, my C equals to 5. That is how it always looks like. Now, how do I factorize my A, C, and B? It means a number that will multiply together, that will give me coefficient of A, C, which is, A, C is 1 multiplied by 5, which is going to be 5, and B is minus 6, my B is. Now, a number that will multiply, that will give me uh, AC. Now, it means this one will be product and this one will be sum. It means the same number I will add up that will give me. Uh, now, for instance, if I have 5 multiplied by 1, look at me. 5 multiplied by 1, it will be what? That will be AC. Now, 5 plus 1, it will be what? B, which is going to be 6 which is going to be 6. Now, since I have this, that number will now represent position of B. Position of B is, is here. It means I'll be having S squared um, plus, okay, minus, sorry, let me have a minus, minus. It will be minus, minus, minus X minus uh, 5X plus B. Now, x bracket of x plus 1, minus 1 other, and minus 5 bracket of x minus 1. Now, any, time, any step I take further, I must be able to return the step back. Multiply this times this, I will have this. This times this, I will have this. Now, it means I will pick one of the two, x minus 1, and x. Now, it means I've successfully factorized it without any problem. I've successfully factorized. Don't forget this particular approach. Very, very important. Now, also, the same thing here. It means I'll be having a solution to this one. To this one. X squared 14X plus 13. Which it will be equals to, what can I do? 3, 13 times 1 is 13. 13 plus 1 is what? It means X squared plus X plus 13X plus 3. Now, x bracket of x plus 1 plus 3 bracket of x plus 1. Now, x plus 13 and x plus 1. That is my answer. We have no problem. Now, what am I using? I'm using the approach behind this. Now, also, I have this also. Hmm, x squared minus 8x plus 7. Now, my AC is what? What can I multiply to get this and also add it together? It means I'll be having x squared minus um, x minus 7x plus 7, which I'll be having x minus 1 minus 7 bracket of x minus 1, which is x minus 7 and x minus 1. That is my factor. That is what we are talking about in that, on that uh, part. Okay. Before we call it off, let me quickly ex um, explain uh, perfect square and the difference of two square. Very, very important. Perfect square and difference of two square. Now, if something is perfect square, perfect square is we always like this. Perfect. Now, we are talking about perfect square. Now, when we talk about perfect square, it means it's always perfect. Now, for instance, if I have it this way, x plus y 
all square. This is the perfect square. This is the perfect square of it, which you can do all we have been doing. Now, if I have it x minus y squared, this is the same thing as x minus y, x minus y. Now, this is not the same thing as different of two squared. Now, when we talk about different of two squared, of two, different of two squared. It means I'm talking about x squared minus, for instance, let me use the word. Um, okay, before I go deeper, a, mm, x minus y and x plus y. This is saying as what? x bracket of x plus y minus y bracket of x plus y. With what are they saying? x squared plus xy minus xy plus minus what y squared this will cancel this x squared minus y squared now can you see this is equals to this for instance now by, by working towards this it means i'm on different of two square if i have a problem this way for instance okay i have x squared the minus four squared i mean four this can be expressed as x squared minus 2 squared. Now, this the same thing as this. It means it can also be x minus plus 2, x minus 2. Sorry. Now, can you see that is this is what is called different of 2 squared. It has been proved here, it has been proved there. Now, it means if I expand this, I will come back to where I'm coming from here. Now, a question can come out in any of the two, anyhow. For instance, when I have a problem this way, whenever I have a problem this way, you know that I'm talking about different of two square. Now, for instance, I have um, x minus 49, and I have a uh, factorized 5 is squared minus 45. Now, look at this one. Solution. What I will just do is that um, this one, I have no problem. What I will just do is that um, I will be talking about um, what it? x minus 49 will be equals to what? x, oh, sorry, square root, square, that will be square. x squared minus 49, it will be minus what? 9 squared. Which also the same thing. I x oh 49 7 sorry 7 squared. Now it means minus 7 also x plus 7. Now don't forget that if I have B A the same thing as A B. Take note of that. B A the same thing as A B. Position does not matter, it depends on how how it's being convenient for you now look at this one that one is that one. if i have a squared minus now i can write this as it will be which can be written as five bracket of a squared minus nine because nine times five is 45. now since i have that i can also have five bracket of a squared minus what three squared now it means i've expressed this in form of different of the square and how do i identify my different of the square the first thing you should know that what is attached to them is minus the second thing is the both of the variable can be expressed in terms of power two which is very very important five bracket of a minus and in that is all. That is all, all about that. If I expand this, I will come back to where I'm coming from. Now, that is all I have for you as far as this part of this phone. Because of those, let me quickly explain something also. Something can come this way. If I have it, 100 minus W squared. Now, what is attaching them is minus. And both of them can be expressed in, in terms of power two. It means I can say one minus w squared which i will be having one minus w 
and minus plus W, and that is all about that. That is all about that. Now, okay, don't forget you are home with Further Solutions Academy. You are home with Further Solutions Academy. Further Solutions Academy. Encourage us more to share and try to subscribe. If you have not subscribed before, make sure you press on your subscribe button. And also, uh, if you want to reach us, you can reach us with this line. Or you drop your comments below. You can comment below also. With this line, you can WhatsApp, you can Telegram, you can call. Either of the, now either of it. Now, once again, thanks for watching.